Hey, my name is Gord Hines. Welcome! If you were watching my channel for the last week, you'll know that I announced a Q&A. I've never done a Q&A. This is the first time that I'm attempting one of these. I don't know how it's gonna go. You guys dropped a whole bunch of questions in the comments underneath the video, so I'm gonna be answering them. But before I start, I just wanna thank NerdNab for sponsoring this video, supporting it, and getting behind it. They are an awesome South African subscription box. If you are a gamer and into nerdy stuff like myself, you can go check them out. I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner of this video for you to see, and in the description below. You'll be seeing some images on screen now of their December package. I have unboxed a previous one. I'll include the link there for you guys as well so that you can go check it out. Go support them. They're South African. They've got some cool deals. Uh, it's really cool that they're supporting YouTubers like myself and making this all possible. And yeah, go show some love. All right, I'm just going to jump straight into it. I've got a whole bunch of them on my phone. Unfortunately, I couldn't answer every single one of them. There's just too many. I was blown away by... How many people ask questions? I'm gonna try my best to answer them all. <clears throat> cool, bottle bomb macat me, or mac at me, or I, I don't, that one. I have a question and maybe a suggestion. Will you ever take a fan and do a video where you play a co-op game uh, with them? That's a great idea. If you guys know of any other YouTubers that have done something like that, drop a comment below uh, on this video. Christoph von us <laughs> Christoph asks, will you be going to Rage at Cape Town? I love your vids. Thank you very much. I love your face. And yes, indeed, I will be going to Rage Cape Town. In terms of games and game design, what is the most important aspects of the game uh, for you to enjoy them? This is a very good question. You know, let me know what you think below, but my favorite part is gameplay. Like, the graphics can be really rubbish and a whole bunch of things about the game can be really bad but if the gameplay is tight it doesn't matter what it looks like it doesn't really matter what the sound is like i can always turn that down that's the kind of thing that i look for a game and it's something that i will come back to or I'll remember even like brothers i don't know if you remember uh, brothers was a very interesting game where you played with two analog sticks and each analog stick controlled each brother that was very cool and very interesting and very different so and i encourage that kind of stuff or at least i enjoy that kind of stuff shut up can i touch your hair one day By all means. Grant, do you have your own t-shirt? I would love to have one. I would love for you to have a t-shirt of me. That would be really weird. But maybe I should make some t-shirts. Maybe it'll say stuff like, High Five a Stranger or something on it. You, you, give me some ideas for that. Would you rather have gills or wings? This is a difficult question because if, if, it, if you have gills, right? Th they say that we've explored more of outer space than we have of the depths of the ocean. Which I don't know if it's true or not. But if we had gills, we could actually go and do that. I suppose there are other limitations as well. Like like if you have a swim bladder or a tail or something and you can't go a certain depth. Probably wings because then I could get to any country in the world across land and sea if that's what I wanted to do. How many hinds would a Grand Hines hind if a Grand Hines would Grand Hines? What kind of question is that? Like, what was the first PC game you ever played? And by the way, I love the hair. Thank you, Salty Pretzel. Salty Face Pretzel. Probably the first game I ever played was a game called Cull Games. It was a like a sports game on an old PC. It was like before 486s. If you don't know what 486 is, I'm showing my age. I think it's in my Draw My Life video, but yeah. I think Cull Games was the first game that I that I ever played. I have gotten a lot of questions on this, and I'm gonna pop them up all over the all over the screen right now, but uh, essentially, the question is like, what's your advice on starting a gaming channel? Or do you have any advice for any YouTubers that are starting out? Um, I don't ever consider myself much of a success. I, I don't have a crazy amount of subscribers, but like one of the things that I've been working very hard at this year is dedicating the majority of my time to it. Um, and working super hard and making it happen and making it flourish. For, if you want really direct advice, the, the first thing is I'm, I'm going to include a link to this, this document or this webpage in the description. YouTube have a really cool guide on how to build your channel and I've been like studying that because that's really helpful. The other thing is study super hard on the YouTubers that you really like to, to watch and find out why those videos are doing super well. Find out like what is it about their videos that is that is being successful. Take those elements and like make it thing. Like if you're really funny, make funny videos, but like make sure that your friends are verifying that you're funny. It's not just you that thinks it's you're funny. The other bit of advice is to collaborate with people that are keen on growing their channels and people that aren't just making a channel, people that have a similar amount of subscribers to you and are working as hard as you. I know some really big YouTubers, fortunately, from the UK and I've had a lot of like uh, advice given to me from them. Guys like Ali A, he's a great dude and he's uploading like two or three videos a day. Like, I mean, that is, that is madness. Like, and it just shows you the kind of dedication, even at his level, I, that, you know, that he's doing ninja. Shh. What has been your favorite project both on and off of YouTube? 
I think YouTube as a thing for me has been my favorite project. I've worked at a couple of companies over the past. I've done a lot of TV work. I still do some TV work. So some of you guys watching probably watch me on, on South African TV. But by far the coolest thing about any of the work that I've been doing is is, is YouTube because I get to chat directly to you. I can answer these questions and be quite candid and build into a future of gaming in, in YouTube in South Africa, which is super cool. And just getting people hyped about games as, as much as I am, that's not on a TV show dedicated to cooking or dedicated to uh, like teen lifestyle or whatever the case is. Those things are all good and cool, but the things around them are my passion gaming is, you know what I mean? So like being able to share gaming with you and interact with you and answer these questions. This is super cool. I mean, what project is better than that? Wi-Fi Toaster says, here's my question. If you could make a video game, what would it be like? I have no idea. I'm actually, I'm glad I don't make video games. Making video games is very hard. I've got some videos coming out through the year. I'm going to do some really cool stuff with people that have made video games. I did a Skylanders video last year where I went to uh, New York to see how they make those games. It's a lot of work. I don't know if I would ever get into making that. I like games that are a little bit different and that try to make you think a little bit more, a little bit out of the box. Um, a laser has been playing a game called That Dragon Cancer and that's games like that just like make you sit and think about why we play games and what video games are and how they've impacted your life and what they could possibly do one day and that's impressive who is your celeb crush J Law is 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 pretty cool she's got she's got the whole package it's not only she's she beautiful she's courageous and funny and witty and smart happy 2016 uh, happy 2016, back to you. Um, next, can you dye your hair the same color as the skateboard in the background? Ha! Can you see the skateboards over there? Um, that would be a really cool idea, firstly. And secondly, I, I want to take this time to give... This is a made of minds company. It's, um, it's called Cubano. They're a skateboard company that's local in Cape Town. There are a couple of places to find it. Go follow them on Twitter and find out where they sell them because they're super cool boards. If you like penny board type things, they're awesome and they're local and they got like ones that are gold and glow in the dark. I gave Casper and um, and Joe some because they, they were so badass. Are you going to Rage Expo this year? Yes, I'm going to Cape Town and most likely Joburg. Which countries have you been to overseas? Well, I've been very, very fortunate to have traveled a lot. Spain, I've been to the UK obviously a couple of times. Uh, you guys might have seen some of my vlogs. I've been to Germany to Cologne for Gamescom. That was epic. I've been to America, I've been to LA, San Francisco, New York, Florida. Uh, I've been to Washington DC. Um, I'd like to travel a lot of the states more because you know, those are like the big parts of it. I think there's a lot of exciting other places in the United States that are unique and different. I've got their own like, flavor, like Las Vegas, for instance, I think that's a very interesting idea for like <laughs> idea for a city. It's like a concept that they have made into a city. I'm hopefully be traveling a lot this year, and I'll share those travels with you because I know that I'm super fortunate to travel. It's not something everybody gets to do. The least I can do is, is share as much of it with you guys as, as I can. Hello, didn't you go to Africa with Casper, Ollie, and Joe? Ask the people that watch my videos. Lauren Dixon Paper. She's got a Lauren Dixon Paper's got a very cool YouTube channel. Go check her out. Very honored that you commented on my video. Not a gaming related question, but what made you choose to become a vegetarian? And what are your best, worst things about it? Also, any advice for someone who's considering it? Obviously, been following my Instagram and tweets. I don't talk a lot about anything else other than gaming on my channel. I have been a vegetarian for a couple of years now, and it's been amazing. It's been an incredible time. I chose to become a vegetarian because after giving it a lot lot of thoughts being uh, challenged by a lot of friends I have come to the personal understanding that I think it's unethical to kill animals for food if we can avoid it and we have the luxury in 2016 in most first look if you've got a computer and you're watching this or a cell phone you probably have the luxury to do that and it's a privilege to give up meat and give life to animals the best thing is that like it's a lot cheaper than eating meat which is great so I've saved a lot of money also you are conscious about what you're eating so you're eating a little bit healthier I'm losing weight and I'm getting fitter which is really cool the worst thing is like bacon man like, I love bacon but no sacrifice is too big for for something as important as that that I believe in and I don't want to I don't want to be a part of that the best advice I can give you is to stay motivated it can be quite uh, challenging at first once you get through the first week or two and you've shifted your thinking around what you've got on your plate like it actually ends up being a lot easier what is your favorite game and why okay this is hard I have a lot of favorite games and they usually happen at different times in my life but probably my favorite game of all time has got to be 
Half-Life. Half-Life kind of changed a lot of my gaming. When I was growing up, it was like I was playing Mario Brothers and that was incredible. And, um, Super Street Fighter 2 was amazing. I used to spend a lot of time with my brother. Micro Machines as well um, on the Sega Genesis and those games were really cool. But Half-Life did something that no other game had done for me before. I played a first-person shooter through the eyes of the main character who was telling a story and I really felt like I was in a movie. That was the first time I could do that and there were, there were little things like there were health packs next to the dead soldiers instead of like hanging on a wall only like in or floating on the center of the room like in, you might see in serious Sam but that's how all games kind of did it why did you start YouTube good question um, and it's something that if you have a YouTube channel you should be asking yourself I started in, in television I was presenting video games on TV after a couple of years I, I ended up at a online company that was just doing online video and I, I dedicated myself to doing gameplay videos and trying to compete with YouTube at the same time and YouTube was kind of Google was bought out by YouTube at a, roughly at that time it was like 2009 ish and I was making like Pretty much let's plays that you might still be able to find a couple in the backlog of my videos and they're very embarrassing let's plays were new uh, we didn't know what we were doing but i had a lot of fun doing it and i did that for a couple of years actually but we never we weren't really on youtube at that stage i just kind of put the videos on youtube afterward and eventually the company went under and i went back into tv because that's what, what you have in south africa is television so i went back to do tv stuff for a while and uh, I met Casper. He had 200,000 subs and that was like four years ago or something. And we went out for breakfast and I asked him a little bit about it because I come from the, that background. Obviously he doesn't do gaming stuff. Yo, what advice could you give me? Uh, and I helped him out with some stuff. Like I got him on uh, some TV shoots and stuff. He inspired me a lot to, to move into YouTube as a, uh, as a, as a YouTuber. Uh, I went back into TV though after he moved to London and with Alfie and all that stuff. And I went back into like, I, I presented on a breakfast show. It was high, high priority, like breakfast show here. So I kind of dedicated all my time to it. Much to my regret now, because like YouTube is where I want to be. And then about halfway through last year, I was like, you know what, screw it. YouTube is what I want to do. Um, I went to VidCon and I, I met, made a lot of friends. I, I met KSI and I met Toby, that was cool. Um, but like Vic and, uh, and Ali and stuff. and. Ali is an incredible YouTuber in many ways and he's really inspired me to um, I'll actually include a link to his channel as well, you must go check him out. He really inspired me to push hard and work super hard at the channel and know that creating YouTube videos is going to be a sacrifice. So I'm, I'm here doing it, I love what I do, I love making videos, I love crafting something entertaining for you guys on this platform where you can meet and you can like watch on your phone. How, how crazy is 2016? Like it's, it's mad and I'm I'm privileged to be a part of it so yeah that's exactly why I make YouTube videos and you guys like I like I get to talk to you I get to talk to you here and make cool stuff and respond to you directly through my phone like yeah the future's mad what are your thoughts on game development versus filmmaking which one do you enjoy being involved in most and why I'm not sure what what you mean by that question as I said like I don't think I'm gonna be uh, game development super hard I think filmmaking and game development are like very similar the production lines right you make you have a final product a uh, one's interactive one isn't a lot of work goes into both of those mediums I'm not gonna make video games anytime soon but I, I code it's like monkeys on like keyboards flinging not Shakespeare but flinging like Proto Indo European. I just wanted to say that you've been a huge inspiration to my brother and I and many other people. Wow, dude, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> really, that means so much to me. My question for you would be if you would be doing a meetup anyway in Cape Town sometime soon. I think the meetup would go a little, a little something like this. It's going to be at a wimpy with me in the corner. It's gonna be one o'clock in the afternoon. Three people are gonna walk in, all are gonna shake my hand and buy me one coffee. Then we're all gonna be like, sweet. And then they're gonna leave and have forgotten to take photos with me because that's gonna be the worst meetup on earth. Like, no one's gonna be there. My question is, how long have you been, have you done YouTube and can you give me a shout out? Yo, Darth Giant. There's your shout out, go check out Darth Giant. He's holding a fish in his pro, what is he doing in that profile picture? He could be, that fish is so big, he could put his head inside that fish's mouth. Um, I've been doing YouTube for a while now. If, if you look at my channel analytics, I think it says like three years. But honestly, I've only been taking it seriously since June last year. If you had to describe a Rusks to someone, how would you do it? Well, Rusks are the bomb. You probably have Rusks all around the world. But this is my favorite Rusk. There's all these fancy Rusks that are coming out now. 
They're not real. They're not legit. This is this is this is the real deal. We can have as many arguments about this as possible if you are South African, but this this is still the original. Inside, there's no sugar. It's like a very hard biscuit. That can you hear? It's like really, really hard. The magic about a rusk is that you dunk it in coffee. You you take this and you dunk it in coffee until it soaks. My coffee is actually a little cold. It's been out here for a while. And then when it's nice and soft and juicy and soaked up all that coffee, that's when you know it's ready for your mouth, the hole in your face. Okay, it's not, it's cold. Coffee's cold, so it, it didn't work. Technique failed. Fell into the coffee. But that's actually my favorite part now. So it gets controversial. Best part for me for a rusk is when you get to the end and the whole, all the rusks have sunk to the bottom of the mug and they lie in the bottom of the mug full of crumbs and you get to the bottom of your cup and you're like, ooh girl, that's the best part. And take a teaspoon and eat it. Mm -hmm. That was rusks for you. <laughs> what are your PC specs and can you do a setup tour? Also, where do you live? Where do I live? Bro, you don't wanna, wh why would you wanna know where I live? Secondly, my PC specs, I will list those in the description. There are a lot of things I'm saying that I'm gonna list in the description. Just, if I miss any of them, just comment below. What's the scariest thing you've ever done? Look, the scariest things that I've ever done are not things that I've ever brought upon myself. I'm petrified of spiders, petrified. So I've had a lot of moments where I've walked into a room and there were spiders on the walls, like right next to me or uh, on the ceiling above me. And in South Africa, we get something called rain spiders. They're petrifying. They're like the spawn of Satan and they roam around freely in the streets. It's bad news. Don't ever come to South Africa because of rain spiders. I'm joking. I'm so glad no one ever asked what my most embarrassing moment is because that's another story for another time. Please buy me a PS4 and gaming equipment. Yes or no? No. I'd like the answer to be yes, but if I was rolling in PewDiePie cash, I might say yes. Will you be going to Rage Cape Town in March? Yes. Does it let know that video game discs turn you on? Got a question for you, would you rather poop bricks or vomit slugs? Would you rather poop bricks or vo vomit slugs? I'm gonna repeat that, would you rather poop bricks or vomit slugs? It's actually not that hard, I'd rather vomit slugs. Pooping bricks is just the worst. Vomiting slugs, at least you can get it out. Well, it depends like on how frequently, but like, you're setting them free, right? You're setting the slugs free, pooping bricks, you're just like chafing your butt all the way to... It, that, that is the worst thing to poop. What, is it, I assume it's not chunks of bricks, it's an entire brick. And if it's the entire brick, forget about it. It's like giving birth to a brick every... It, once a day. In my case, five times a day. EIE Productions ask and go check out... Yeah, they're, they're super cool. Super cool. Go check out the channel. Wanna come with me when I dye my hair white? Like, just watch you dye your hair white. Just Snapchat it. Like, I'll... I'll the same thing as me being there, right? I'm impressed that you're doing that. Maybe you should, once you've got it white, 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 you can use that as a base and go pink or something. Thank you so much for watching and asking all those really personal questions. I'm sure people can get a little bit dirtier next time. Thank you so much to NerdNab for, for getting behind this video. Go check them out. Don't forget to do that. I'm excited for 2016. I hope you guys are too. It's going to be such a kick-ass year. If you want me to do Q&As again, let me know. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> Poop bricks or vomit slugs. Slugs will be it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know. I want. I want. I want to chat to you on this video because I'm a bit worried <laughs> how it's gonna turn out. Um, in the meantime, guys, high five a stranger. Adios.